It's about as thin as a balloon, but obviously the petals are going higher. And I like to roll some back to give a different dimension there and pull it into another area. As you can see, as it's pulling more into a rose, I keep rolling it just a little bit. And it's becoming multi-layered, tighter in the center looser on the edge. You can see that I'm pulling it in a little bit to the edge. Now the next one will go around this way. And I'm going to cut this one. I'm going to cut this piece out here. Cover your mouth when you yawn, please. It'll help. Oh. You're going to make people have contagious yawn on the page, on the video. Okay, and then this is a bigger section, and that's what you want to get your petals to be bigger each and every time. And as I said, I was going to use the outside edge here. And I'm being a little more careful. As you can see, the petals are getting a little bigger. And so I keep going around, and I turn them just slightly and start curving them as I keep going. Now they could stick out more if you want to do a little powder in it. It's a good way to get separate layers. And Roxy is mouthy tonight. And I'm making this into an eye, so if you're wondering what I'm cutting, I'm pulling extra pieces out of it. So I'm looking for this piece right here. Okay, let's, this might be my last layer if I can do this just right pull it around here and pull it slowly gonna curve it over and then you can probably put another petal in and I think it needs another petal It needs another petal here. Let me see if I can roll another one real quick while holding. Look how beautiful it is. And it's got that beautiful stone in the middle. And let's roll this out. Now I'm doing this one handed. So, oh, oh. Roxy, mouthy, Roxy. And I'm actually going to probably use this whole piece. It actually came out perfect. Okay. Let's do this right here. Came out to the size I exactly wanted. Now watch me pull it in, tuck it, curve it, tuck it, curve. Roll a little bit in a smaller section. Shut up, please, Roxy. Oh, look how beautiful this is coming out. Came out perfect. Now, I'm tucking it and pulling it just a little bit more here. Now the other half, on this back half, is it going to be perfect? This is where sometimes leaves come in perfect on the back side. But then again, no flower is. But if you're seeing what I'm doing, I'm pulling it up a little bit in the middle because your petals are already formed. You just got to be very careful and have something that you can stick this in. If you've got like um, one of those baker pans, where um, it's got holes, they, they fit perfectly sitting down in it. And I'm just going to curve and tuck it a little bit more. It's, it's past her bedtime. She gets really cranky, guys. So it is after 10 o'clock here. So I'm going to take, if I can here, so there's my red rose. I need to make me a couple leaves here. And usually I do two or three leaves, and this is about the same that I do for... Roxy, be quiet! It's about the same that I do for my um, melted roses. And, you know, when I do the, about the same amount, literally, it's almost the exact same way I do them. Obviously, it's a different um, type of stuff. Now, the, the petals are obviously different. It's actually, a, a, it's still the same thing, but more of an 
a sliced eye. But, and you know what, for, to be honest, it pretty much is the exact same shape. See, as it's an eye, as you can see here. Can you show them that, Jeff? See? It is more of an eye. You still want the pointy end. This time you want the pointy end in because the pointy end is more in than out. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to stick it in real tight up underneath it, if you can see. And then I'm going to curve the petal just slightly and tight. I don't want it fully tied up in there. Now that's one rose petal. I'm going to sit and roll another one real quick. And I'm only going to do one more petal and then I'll do another one later when I finish it. And you guys, if you're on my Facebook page, you'll see the finished one. I'm going to make uh, quite a bit of them tonight, so um, in different colors. Um, you, know, may, you may not see them exactly tonight, but there's a project I'm working on. You will see them again. And um, as you can see, I'm doing the eye shape. Real easy. Here's my other petal. And I'm going to put the thicker piece as you can see down in here and it kind of covers again I'm gonna probably do another petal a little bit wider one and you can see how it's coming out it's really pretty and I'm gonna do another petal when this is done but this is the zero rose petal I hope you enjoy it uh, follow me on Facebook look for Charming Custom Crafts or Charming Crafts Charming Custom or come see me on my Fry Market M-A-C-F-R-Y Facebook guys peace out Bye.